hello everyone welcome back to another one of my videos it feels really weird saying that because i haven't posted a video in such a long time i have been really really absent on my youtube um i've had a lot of you guys messaging me and commenting on my instagram um for weeks and weeks asking when i'm going to film another video i've had a lot of you requesting me to do a update video so here i am today i'm going to be sharing a bunch of updates with you guys and I've got some really exciting news to share with you as well um, so definitely stay tuned for that I'm going to be talking about some exciting news that I um, that happened today it's hamster related um, I've also got to talk to you guys about my cage because as you can see it's looking a little bit different um, so yeah I'm going to be talking about future hamsters um, talking a little bit about where I've been discussing my shop um, towards the end of the video I'm gonna pack a couple of orders and show you guys um the process um, i'm not going to do it too in depth i'm just going to feature a little bit because you guys have been requesting me to um pack orders in the video um i'm going to do a dedicated video at some point um, where it's just about me packing orders but i'm going to include a bit of it in today's um video and yeah so i have a whole bunch of updates to share with you guys so first of all i'm going to start off with um where have i been so if you haven't seen my previous video definitely go ahead and check it out i filmed a animal crossing island tour back in july and i've only just gotten around to editing it and posting um i'm probably going to do a updated um island tour very soon because my island looks a lot different to how it looks before so i've been pretty busy playing animal crossing um, i've also been working on my shop um i've um, I'm basically rebranding. I still have a lot of stuff to work on, um, but the process is going well so far. I'm just doing it like a bit by bit. So I basically uh, changed my website just a little bit. I've removed a lot of products because I have discontinued a bunch of them and I'm going to be focusing on more like natural products. So my bakery page is still there where you can purchase um, handmade treats. So um, all of those treats that you guys absolutely love, you can still get them and I've added a few new ones and um i'm also going to be adding some more very soon over the next couple of months and in a couple of weeks i'm going to be releasing my um autumn limited edition range of um pumpkin pot print cookies and pumpkin ot nibbles so definitely grab those as well um i've lowered the price for international shipping so so that's a bit cheaper now as well so that's good news for you guys who do not live in the uk um and you can also select standard shipping or chat um depending on what you want i have discontinued a lot of like the plasticky items and all that kind of stuff like the colorful i like the bright and colorful items simply because i started selling them because that's what i was using myself um but i haven't had a hamster since uh like just before christmas that's when loki passed away but a little bit before then the past couple of cage um setups i did do were natural so i've just been loving actual hamster products over the more bright and colorful ones so that's something i want to have on my website if that makes sense so i've also had a lot of you guys emailing me and messaging me about hamster boxes saying that you can't find them on my website so yeah i have um taken the hamster boxes off my website for the moment just so that i could focus on um like rebranding and uh, not have to worry about um picking out items or boxes and sending up boxes because with my shop it's just me and i pretty much do everything myself um managing the website customer service packing orders sending orders out um just planning things ahead and all that so it's a lot for me to do i'm planning on maybe doing a build your own halloween kind of box um and just seeing how that goes um and yeah so that's something i'm planning on I'm going to be bringing out some more handmade um chew toy there's not a lot of food dishes on my website at the moment um but i will be adding more of the marble dishes and the heart shaped dishes so those will be permanent um on my website um so food dishes handmade chews um spoons for measuring out the food and handmade treats are what i'm going to be focusing on so i will give you guys a sneak peek of how i'm um how i've organized all of that stuff um it's not exactly how i want it to be and it's also really good for me because i've limit i've um reduced the amount of products on my website so that it's easy for me to store them and as well when it comes to packaging them i've got like a whole new way of packaging um products because a lot of my orders are quite small now so i'm going to be sharing that with you guys also yeah so that was just a quick update on my shop um like i said i'm going to be giving you a tour of how i'm storing 
store and everything um, in a little bit and I'm also going to pack orders towards the end of the video. So now on to the really exciting hamster related news uh, from this morning. So for the past six months I've had a lot of you guys ask me am I getting a new hamster? When am I getting a new hamster and what hamster? So I can finally tell you guys now. I'm going to tell you a bit of the story here but I'll tell you in more detail in another video. So I have been wanting to get another Russian dwarf because they are my favourite type of hamster um, and I've just been looking online to see if anyone had um, hamsters up for adoption. Hamsters from a accidental litter near me. Um, so today I had a look and I managed to find someone. I contacted her straight away and I've been messaging with her back and forth um, since this morning. She's really really lovely um so yeah the situation is she got a hamster from a independent pet store um because she wanted to avoid pets at home um and then she moved down from sheffield to london she noticed that her hamster was getting bigger and bigger and bigger and then she realized that her hamster was pregnant and two days later um her hamster gave birth to i think three girls and four boys so she sent me over some pictures of them this morning and I really, really liked the look of girl number three. She looks adorable. She's so cute. All of the colourings are quite nice. Um, so the hamster that I picked, she's light grey. And then she has like a white sort of pattern. Um, her colour might change because they are still quite young. Currently about a month old. Um, so she hasn't given any of them away just yet. But from this weekend, they will be able to be rehomed. So I have reserved um, that one girl. I think I'm the first person to have like reserved one of the hamsters and they're only 15 pounds um so i can pay her over paypal and yeah i'm really 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 excited i hope this all like goes to plan i've sent her over pictures of my cage and all of that kind of stuff we just need to arrange a day to meet so i spoke to my sister about it this morning and um we just need to plan a day where she's going to be available because she's going to come um with me to collect the hamster we're going to drive down there um and she's not too far either i don't think she's any further than half an hour away which is great um and yeah so we're gonna go and pick up the hamster and i'm going to film everything for you guys and it's just going to be really exciting um so i still need to set up the cage um because as you can see the cage is empty um i have been buying some stuff towards um like i have been preparing uh for my next hamster so i recently got some more substrate um so i should have enough or well, i do have more than enough to fill up the cage um i've also been buying some treats um a small company also sent me a bag of food which i'm really excited to test out and i'm i was going to do like a sit down hamster haul but i think i'll just show you all the bits and bobs that i have brought so far in this vlog um i might be meeting with so i might be meeting with charlie my boyfriend in a couple of days and we plan to go to ikea because i want to get some plants um i want to get some plants for my room and i also want to get uh some plants for the hamster cage i want to get a spider plant because that's a hamster safe plant that you can put in the cage so i've actually wanted to get one for a very long time now so i'm going to see if they have any in ikea um and yeah i'm really looking forward to that and i'll probably pick up a few other little bits and bobs for the hamster in ikea as well because i need um another container for the sand and yeah so that's going to be really exciting uh so i'm going to go ahead and quickly talk about my cage so this is my hamster cage it's the ikea d12 so it's basically a display cabinet turned on its side and i've had this cage for a couple of years now um so my sister came over yesterday and i was telling her that i need to repair um the cage because there's a bit at the back where the glass has slipped out i've been meaning to fix it for um, a couple of months now so I'm going to see if my mum can help me fix that over the weekend and yep so it's a great cage as you can see it's nice and spacious and I have it sitting on top of two of the mom drawers so my regular viewers might be able to notice that I finally have some lids for my hamster cage I've had this cage since 2017 and I haven't had any lids because I'm just terrible at DIY recently I managed to find someone to make me um, some lids for the cage so this is made by a company called Freddie and Friends the owner is so lovely she's really really sweet and you can find them on Facebook or on Instagram these lids came last night I was so excited the lids are 40 pounds 
and um, they come with handles. I did ask her not to um, include the handles but she accidentally forgot but it's okay because I can um, unscrew them because I want to replace them with my own handles and I'm also going to be painting them. I got the paint already, um, I ordered this off Amazon, it was £5. So I'm going to be painting the lids at some point. I'm just waiting for the handles to arrive. And I've also ordered a bottle holder um, that they make and you can um, clip it onto the, like these bits of the detox. And um, I'm just waiting for that in the post. So once that gets here, I will go ahead and show you guys. So I plan on hopefully setting up the cage um, this week and I will be um, filming me sorting out, the, setting up the cage as well. Um, so yep, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just show and just show you some of the new hamster bits that I've brought in preparation for this hamster. So in here I have some dried forage. So this one here is a dandelion mix and it looks so good and it's going to look great on the floor of the cage because I'm going to go for a natural feed. Here we have some green oats and yep, yeah, these both look lovely and they're just going to look really nice in the cage. This is the hamster food that got sent to me by a company called Bears Hamsters and they make 100% um, natural hamster food. So they do food for dwarf hamsters and Syrians and there's two types of food that you can get for each. Um, so you can get the one with soy protein, the one I chose and the food looks amazing. I can't wait to try this out with my hamster and then they sent me over this little business card as well which is super cute um so yeah definitely go ahead and check them out so in here i have a couple of new treats so these i have been using for years and i have them on my website if you want to go ahead and buy them these are healthy bite treats this one is for immunity care this one is for odor care and this one which is my favorite is nutri care um, and these are really nice um healthy treats with beneficial properties and then i also thought i would try this so this is dandelion root and this looks great. I think that would look lovely in a natural cage. And then I also bought a pack of these little sticks as well, which also look really, really nice. And then lastly, I have these two treats by JR Farm. So this first one is flax spray, which, which hamsters absolutely love. And yeah, I can't wait to try this out with my new hamster and it's gonna look great in the cage also. And then this next treat I got, um, I can't actually remember what this is. Um, I'm not sure if it's a type of millet, I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, this looks great as well and it seems like there's three different types. I have something non-hamster related to quickly share with you guys. So this morning I received the biggest PR package from Soap and Glory. So this morning the door rang and the postman had the biggest box ever and I was thinking what in the world is that and I had a feeling it was Soap and Glory because they usually send their products in pink boxes. I opened the box up and I saw a Soap and Glory product and I just started freaking out thinking oh my god this looks amazing. So I closed the box straight away and I thought I would wait until I was filming so we can go through everything together. So here's the box and I was not lying when I said it was big. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open this up. It's a load of bubble wrap, so I'm going to be saving this because I always save my bubble wrap when I receive parcels so I can reuse it um, in my own parcels. So this is what I saw and this is the, oh, I haven't actually tried this in a while. This is the flake away scrub. I'm just gonna put you down so I can open this up. Oh my god, this smells amazing. Um, so this is the flake away scrub. I normally use the breakfast scrub just because the sugar granules are a lot bigger and it's a lot more scrubby. But this is a nice scrub that I would use um, on my arms. And this has the same scent as the Clean On Me shower gel, which is my absolute favourite shower gel. And I've accidentally just dipped the lid inside. So I thought I'd quickly just show you my Soap & Glory drawer. So I have actually got a dedicated drawer to Soap & Glory with all of my um, essentials. So this is the scrub that I was talking about, the Smoothie Star breakfast scrub. It's great. I use it every time I have a bath. And then usually for my arms, I like to use the scrub of your life. This one is almost finished. But of course, I do have a backup here um, because I always need to have backups. And then behind in this container if i can get to it i've just got a bunch of travel size stuff um because whenever i'm away i like to also use soap and glory and i got this when they sent me um 
a PR package back in Christmas from the first one, which is a travel size version of the Flake Away and the Righteous Butter, which I actually have a full size version of right here. And this is their um, body butter and it's really good. So yeah, let's go ahead and pick out this, which might be a cream. Yep. So this is the Righteous Butter, um, literally what I was just talking about. So excited to have a backup of this. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Oh my God, there's so much stuff. So here we have the Clean On Me Shower Gel. Absolutely love this. What else is in here? Um, this is one thing I won't be using. So this is the Sexy Mother Pucker Plump Lip Gloss. And I don't like any of the lip plumping products because I don't use lip plumping products. And I think that was the last little product. Oh no, <laughs> we've also got this. So this is the Soap and Glory Face and Soap Clarity Vitamin C Facial Wash. Um, I've actually got one of these in my skincare drawer, which I haven't used yet. I have used this before. Um, I think I've gone for about two bottles of these and I have a little travel size version. And let's remove all of this. Okay, so should have read the note first, but I didn't see it. Um, so this, I think this is just for whatever this is. So bath, sink or skin by Soap and Glory. I want to go ahead and read this. Uh, you can pause it. This is a board game and it's suitable for ages 15 to fabulous and, the, and there can be one to four players. This actually looks so fun. So you have to use... Um, I think it said you have to use tweezers or something. Oh, what is in here? You've got, I'm not even sure what these are. I really need to read the instruction. Here's the tweezers and it says it makes like noises or something. So this is kind of like that game, what was it called? Operation. And you have to sort of like try and pick them out. Um, and this is a game I loved as a child. Oh my god, it makes noise. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what products I have in stock at the moment. We'll go on to pack in some orders that I've received over the past week because I have been saving them up for you guys. I'm going to start off with this top drawer. So here we have some stuff that were part of my um, like previous stock. I'm probably not going to be restocking these. So I have some rabbit bowls here. And then we've got some niblots in a few different flavours. Here we've got the treats I was talking about earlier, the healthy bites. Um, we've got some vitamin drops. Here we have these um, corn shoes, which are great. Um, I used to buy the apple and the cheese one all the time for my first hamster, um, for my first hamster Oreo, and then I hadn't been able to find them for years. So definitely go ahead and grab one of these because I only have four left. Um, and these are really nice, healthy chews. Um, they're kind of like whimsies, but they're made from cornstarch. I've restocked the cage thermometers and then I've also got um, these spoons. So the spoons, um, these chews and the, um, and the cage thermometers will be permanent. This is also something I'm going to be discontinuing, the Science Selective Treats. There's four different flavours but I think I only have two or three left. So in this next drawer is, uh, it's a bit of a mess and it's not really organised um, at the moment, it's something that I am still working on. So here we've got all of the homemade treats. We've got the fruit and nut, which comes in this bag. We have dried apple, uh, dried banana, and you can also get pea flakes as well. Um, and then here I've just packaged up some of the coconut oat nibbles. I've done that this morning, they need to be labelled. Um, you might notice that there's this brown packaging which I don't normally use um, but I ran out of the white packaging I use and I ordered some like a month or so ago but they take really long to arrive and I had none so I decided to order this um, order this one instead because it came within a couple of days so here we have freeze-dried chicken which is super popular it's great for protein um, and then here we've just got some in the original pack and they've got labels at the back as well. So I need to go ahead and, oh, I've labeled them already. <laughs> That's good. Um, here we've got a load of whimsies, which I packaged up the other day. Um, and then here we have a mixture of 
treat so we've got some poor print cookies here i need to stick my labels on them because i ran out of labels but um i recently got some in yesterday and we've got some other treats here like beetroot ot nibbles finally restocked my for seed mix um this is great this is super popular um perfect for a treat or you can sprinkle it in your pet's food um i used to do them in bags this size but recently um well a couple of days ago i decided to create them in bigger packs and yeah they need labels i need to sort some labels for them um but yeah this is how they look and i've got some i've got some more back here which i mixed up but i need to package them i've got um scales so i can weigh stuff i uh, can't get it back um and then we've just got some packaging here and also here as well so we've got um red millet which just looks like this and then we've got yellow millet. that's everything that i have on my website so definitely go ahead and check that out now we put in a free gift in all orders over 10 pound so look for the code in the description Um, tissue paper I use different tissue paper um, I actually bought this brown one back when back in January when I did natural boxes and I've got a bunch of it left so I just thought I would um, go ahead and use them up because it fits perfectly in these boxes so we're just going to line it with tissue paper it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but yeah so that's what it looks like and then we're going to pop um, we're just going to arrange the products inside so they've ordered some black sprays uh the four seed blend and uh some popcorn cookies so that looks quite nice arranged just like that and then we're going to fold it over like so and then i have a couple of labels to stick down so i have these thank you ones which are these new ones that I have been using if my camera will focus these are really pretty got to use up some of these which I got I can't remember when I got these probably for like the valentine's box I think um yeah so I'm just using these up these ones are quite nice seal it with a sticker and then pop one of these cute little business cards on top um, I was putting them inside to start with, but now I'm putting them on top so um, customers can see them as soon as they open the package. And then we're just going to seal the box. And I'm going to pop a bit of sellotape there. And then uh, I've written out their address. So that's going to go right here. And then when I go to the post office, the postal stamp will go right there. sometimes when I'm packing orders I don't have the treats in stock so um, this person wanted two beetroot popcorn cookies but I'm going to need to make them a bit later on this evening so I've just um, got the packaging ready so they've ordered a pack of um, coconut OT nibbles uh, original popcorn cookies original OT nibbles and beetroot flavored OT nibbles
I've finally finished packing orders. It took me a little over two hours. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of baking. Um, I'm just gonna bake some more oaty nibbles and a few more paw print cookies, and I've got and then I've got to decorate them to fulfill the orders that I've already packed. And I've left a few open because they require those treats. So that will probably take me about two hours to do. Um, let me know what kind of videos you would like me to see once I have um, the hamster. So maybe taming videos or something like that just let me know in the comments don't forget to check the description for my instagram um, my personal one is just my name and my pet instagram is tiny hamster paws i'm more active on the um tiny ham tiny hamster paws account but i have been post like on my stories but i have been posting more pictures on my um personal account because i haven't really had much to post on my hamster account because i haven't had a hamster um but yeah definitely go ahead and follow me over there and i'm going to try and get this video out as soon as possible even though we're going to be super busy i'm going to try and sit down edit it and get it out and i know a lot of people are going to be super excited to see a video from me um but yeah so i'm going to continue working and then um a little bit later on this evening i'm going to uh, go on Animal Crossing and um, yeah just play the game for a little bit so bye for now guys and I'll see you in my next video